In this episode, we'll take a look at two features from Sidekick Enterprise, encryption and multiprocess. Let's get started. Imagine you have sensitive data and you'd like to use it in your workers. Without encryption, this sensitive data would be stored in Redis in plain text and available to anyone that can read Redis. Sidekick Enterprise supports transparent encryption of the last argument for a job, also known as the secret bag. So sensitive data at rest in Redis cannot be seen. Let's set this up. We'll open up the Sidekick configuration file and enable crypto, specifying a key to encrypt our data with. For the moment, we don't have this key file, so let's just comment this line out and create this file. And now let's uncomment that line. With this, the encryption is set up. Let's create a worker using encryption called Private Worker. It just sleeps for a long time. Now, using Rails console, we can enqueue a job and pass it some arguments. Let's do that two times. And remember, the last argument is the secret bag. Now, let's look at all the workers and see what we can see about their work. We shouldn't be able to read the last argument, which contains secret. And as you can see, the content is encrypted. I still had some other queued jobs sitting around if you were wondering why there are more than two jobs in there. Oops. We can also check the web UI and make sure it's encrypted there. And we can see that it is. So that's encryption. Let's dive into another cool feature from Sidekick Enterprise, multiprocess. Imagine you have a web server with a container for your Sidekick. If you don't think this is enough for you, you'll probably end up wanting multiple processes. The problem with this is they'll be totally separate and they must be managed individually. Sidekick Enterprise has a new binary, Sidekick Swarm, which will spin up in child Sidekick processes. Let's try that. We'll create a service called Test Service. This service will just do something, so we'll name our method appropriately. The method will just call a worker. Let's go ahead and create our worker. And our worker is just instantiating some open structs in a loop. So first, let's try this out just running Sidekick. Now let's try that using multiprocess using sidekick swarm with count equal to 4. We can see that we have 1 2 3 4 sidekick processes running right now. Using multiprocess execution time is way better because we have four workers executing in parallel. If we look in top we can see the difference. Here we're running four workers, but if we just use one, we just have the one process in top. So that's it. In today's episode, we saw how to use Sidekick Enterprise's encryption features, as well as its new Sidekick Swarm binary for running multiple processes. I hope you enjoyed it.